Hi everyone, this is JD, your Gadget Review friend. Android OS, especially the newer version like Android 11 and 12, has evolved into a more complex and secure mobile operating system. And there are so many ways how to personalize your phone from the launcher to the settings, and we're never really aware of it. Today, I'll show you my top 5 Android settings hack that you might never heard or used before. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, my friend. Let's go! Our first hack is the color inversion accessibility shortcut. So color inversion is normally used by people with vision impairment, especially elders, but you can actually use this as one-touch switch for dark mode function. One of the reasons why you wanted to turn this on is the light conditions. If you're in a place where there's a strong light, example outdoors on a sunny day, you might want to brighten your screen and use the light mode. Or if you will be sleeping and you want to have a darker screen that will not interrupt you from falling asleep. Or maybe saving some battery life on some situation if you have an OLED screen. To do this, go to settings, search for color inversion, and turn on color inversion and color inversion shortcut. You will have a one-touch button beside your navigation keys. It's like a person, you can click this to switch back and forth with light and dark mode or color inversion. Next is flash notification. Do you know that you can set the flash of your camera to notify you of a call or text? The reasons to have this are if you have an important call that you don't want to miss or maybe an alert at night where you don't want to use your ringtone to wake other people or maybe just to make your notification cooler. To do this, go to settings and type the word flash, click flash notification and turn it on. So every time you get a call or text, the camera flash will blink. Nice! Third is removing animation. This will create an effect of a faster phone since every time you click something, it just jumps right in. This is probably one of the tricks you will see on some YouTube videos. The difference is, on those videos, it's a bit complicated accessing and allowing developer tools, then animation and transition. Ah uh, yeah, there's a faster way and you're welcome. Here we just need to go to settings, type animation, and click remove animations. So next time you don't need to access developer tools, it's under accessibility, a one-touch toggle. The fourth one is the most important of all, and honestly, you should set this up right after this video. This is setting up your emergency contact and how to use the SOS. Let's start by setting up your emergency contact. Go to settings, search for SOS, and click emergency SOS or send SOS messages. You need to enter at least one emergency contact or multiple depending on how many people you wanted to alert in case of emergency. In emergency situations like disaster or crime, you can click the power button 5 times, sometimes 3 or 4 depending on your phone, and your Android phone will capture 3 things. Your location, 5 seconds voice recording, and a picture of you using the selfie camera. It will be sent to your emergency contacts right away as a text message. And lastly, Permission Manager. It might be the last on the list, but super important too. It's good to have a habit of reviewing your phone's permission once in a while and reviewing the application that uses the sensor and input of your phone, from microphone, camera, to internet and contacts. I would do this every month to see if there's any suspicious activity or changes on your permission. To do this, go to Settings, search for Permission, and click Permission or Permission Manager. You will have a list of sensors and privacy information and the number of apps allowed on that specific item. There are three options, allow only when using the app, ask every time or deny, depending on your privacy need. Those are my 5 useful Android hacks that you may never use or tried before. Hopefully you saw something really interesting. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.